in that world, Flame Arrows gets a little bit better as a different option that doesn't use your bonus action. So I could see, like, you get to ninth level, you mainly just take the attack action a lot of the time, then you have bonus action to make your Drake around. I could absolutely see putting Flame Arrows on that character just as a passive way to do more damage. Yeah. It's kind of harmless there, but it's never going to be the most exciting thing in the world. Hello friends, Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns of Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the spell, Flame Arrows. Uh, this is... What, what, what was that? It was an arrow that caught on fire. That... Even with the name, having announced the name Flame Arrows, <laughs> I did not get that. Whenever you... Have this yeah. much genius. It might be hard for other people to recognize, but you could shoot an arrow or all right. I could have, I guess. Yeah. There you go. All right, there we go. <laughs> this That's is kind of half level... of a cover. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. This is a third level spell. It's for druids, rangers, sorcerers, witters, and artificers. Cast time with an action, range is touch, verbal somatic components. Your familiar can do this for you if you'd like them to. I don't know why you would, but you could. Concentration an hour. You touch a quiver containing arrows or bolts. When a target is hit by a ranged weapon, you attack using a piece of ammunition drawn from the quiver. It takes a bonus D6 fire damage. Spell's magic ends on the piece of ammunition when it hits or misses, and the spell ends when 12 pieces of ammunition have been drawn from the quiver. At higher levels, when you cast a spell using a fourth level or higher slot, the number of pieces of ammunition you could affect with the spell increases by two. That's sure. not great. No, that's never worth doing. So, flame arrows. Um, I don't, unless you're in a very flammable environment. Here's a question. Yeah. What classes want this happening for them? That's an easy place to start, right? Rangers like it, their quiver being on fire. Fighters like their quiver being on fire. Rogues kind of like their quiver being on fire. That's, That's three, fine. right? Yep. Are there other classes that are actively using bows all that much? Um, I guess a wizard might be using a crossbow when uh it's short on spells, but then why are you casting... short on spells? If you're short on spells, you're not casting flame arrows. Correct. Yes. Uh, uh like your cantrip will out damage that, right? Because you're you're doing a d6 plus dex mod for your crossbow or d8 plus dex mod plus crossbow plus a d6, or you're getting fifth level cantrip, which is two d10. So just use your cantrip at that point. Hmm. Right? Almost certainly, yes. Um, so, like, maybe your artificer doing... kind of fits thematically. Yeah, I could see like you're doing longbow or crossbow stuff, and then you're like, you know, extra attacking with battlesmith, maybe. So then you have your companion that's defending you, and you're like basically a metal ranger. I could kind of see that working out. Mm. Um, but I mean, now, but artificers and rangers are half casters. So when when are they getting this level third, uh, level, level three spell, ninth level? That's a uh... This is this is not one that ages like a fine wine. No. The it, the big point of problem to me too is the characters that would want to turn it on for themselves have other concentration effects that can improve their on hit damage, namely Hunter's Mark is the ranger option that like gives you bonus d6 damage on hit. Now you have to use your bonus action to maneuver that around. So there is some tension there. Maybe you don't want to have to move your maneuver around with your bonus action, so you use this, then you get 12 shots of a d6 bonus damage. 12 Shots of bonus d6 damage is if all of them connect fine, it's slightly better damage than a fireball on one target for a mm. third level spell. But again, you have to concentrate on the whole thing. You might be able to get that off in like three rounds, especially if you're doing crossbow expert stuff. So maybe that's something, but you, you do have to hit every time. You do have to hit every time. Uh, there's another spell that exists called Elemental Weapon. Um, an Elemental Weapon is very similar. It is a third level spell. It's for paladins, rangers, druids, and artificers. So wizards can't give this to their buddies, but druids, uh, rangers can do this for themselves. You touch an automatic weapon to make it plus one, and it does a bonus d4 of either ask cold fire, lightning, or thunder damage. And it does that for concentration an hour. So it's unlimited d4, hypothetically, without the bonus action cast armor issued that, and it gives you a plus one weapon if you don't already have one. And what level is that? Third level. Oh, okay, that's also third level. I'm Third not level. high on either of these. No, but yeah. That's right. definitely Sorcerer, better, right? Sorcerers and wizards just have 
way too many third level options to consider this. Yeah, I 100% agree with that is the case. Ah. Uh, Druids like, never want to put this on an ally. I don't think they have very big, powerful concentration effects to put it down that have nothing to do with letting your ranger bow on fire. And then I rangers guess, and artificers get it way too late. I mean, like, it's... The concentration really, really hurts this thing in that yeah. you want to get all 12 D6 of the damage. Like, you want this to last two fights. I don't think this is regularly going to last two fights. I hate that even if you jump through the hoops to make it last two fights, it still runs out. Like, you, you'll mm. still run out of shots after four rounds if it does manage to stay up the whole time. So the, the ceiling on this is quite low. I... It also doesn't help that every time you miss, you lose one of these sixes. So, like, if you hit two-thirds of your shots, you're only getting 8d6 worth of damage out of this. Yeah, this isn't well designed at all. But... No, it is not. Okay. Who would... I'm, I'm trying to you know, think of one of my ridiculous scenarios where I'd want to use this, and I, I can't even think of something stupid. I'm thinking, like, you stack this on top of a Hunter's Mark, you stack this on top of another effect. The fact that this lights the Quiver on fire means you can elemental weapon your weapon and have someone else flame arrows your Quiver, and then you have the 2d4, or the, the d4 bonus damage plus the d6 fire damage, then you might be, like, if uh, hypothetically, with, in a ma magic Christmas land where you have three people, someone else elemental weapons your bow, someone else elemental weapons or uh, flame arrows your quiver, and then you hunters mark something, and then for a glorious 12 shots, you do a bonus 2d6 plus 1d4 with plus 1 to hit to that target for every single shot. Eh? That's neat. No. If, if if the entire party is folk concentrating on making you a badass, then, uh, cool. Yeah. That's never happened to me. I don't think it'll ever happen to you, viewer at home. Um, and this is still the worst of all those options that we talked about, right? Like, this is the last one you reach for, I think, most of the time there. Mm -hmm. In the world where you have good bonus actions, which is Crossbow Expert, which is many of the Ranger subclasses, like Drake Warden, like Beastmaster, there's even the competition now with um, Favored Foe, but that also aids your concentration for some unholy reason. So it, it is kind of hard for Hunter's Mark to get on a lot of sheets these days. In that world, Flame Arrows gets a little bit better as a different option that doesn't use your bonus action. So I could see, like, you get to ninth level, you mainly just take the attacker action a lot of the time, then you have a bonus action to make your Drake around. I could absolutely see putting Flame Arrows on that character just as a passive way to do more damage. Yeah. It's kind of harmless there, but it's never going to be the most exciting thing in the world. All right. Um, what about uh, the academic exercise? Is this Is this part of the scheme to get the most possible damage out of a an arrow probably this yeah. goes on the sheets that you do the crazy crit things where like your job is to assassinate and make 40 attack rolls at once and then this can be a extra thing you stick on a different element of a character that normally doesn't double up buffs right because normally you can't double buff a magic weapon this buffs the quiver not the weapon right so this could conceivably go on to doing 2d6 bonus damage per hit all right sure i think let's get the solid two i think i maybe have been too cruel to elemental weapon in the past but because of the mental weapon exists, I sure never want to cast this. And I don't often want to cast that, so. Well, I'm, yeah, it hurts giving this one a two, but I guess it technically does something. I, I can imagine there being a decent amount of rangers out there that it's fine. You just, you cast this before a fight, you wander around a dungeon for an hour or two, or for 30 minutes, then you get into an encounter, the first six shots do most D6 damage? Sure. Yeah. That's pretty harmless, right? It doesn't cost you any actions in combat. Cost you third level spell. Uh, a lot of great ones of those, at least. I mean, you could summon beast, but maybe you're just in the player's handbook or something. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, there. I feel better about my two territory. <laughs> Congratulations, Flame Arrow. Yeah. If you are playing out of the player's handbook, uh, just grab Elemental Weapon instead because it's also in the player's handbook, but it was added to the Ranger spell list and Tosh Scald of everything. So it's yours now. Go for it. Yay. All right. Well, that was Flame Arrows. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Let us know. Your opinion is down in the comments below. And, uh, yep, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.